Mga Jay! Pau! 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 Nami sa Cebu Safari. Gusto mo makitag mananap? Meet the elephant! Hi! Hi! Reception area. Reception area. Yeah, hey, na nami so lord. May lang mga service. Are you skilled? Asa may dapat mga mananap? Mga skilled, pero are you skilled guys? Nang mga talo yung eh para mas kuan ba? Are you kanang kanang? Asa asa ng part nganay ang mga mananap? Mga mananap pinigay na, mga mananap pinigay na. Nafimang pukas di ko masudhan. Unsan unsan unsan. Tiko masu. 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 Tiko
Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nara gede aku mga kaliwat teh. Dodos. Bang. Bia. Aman. Hoy sis, gino ko marisip. Kira ka dia? Lihuk lihuk son. Orang kutan, 
at your service. And the sister of Orangutan. Where is it? Sister of Orangutan. Lang sa mga plat, okay? Okay, we start with the black and white stripes, which is the zebra. And right now we have a young or a baby zebra right there. She's two months old. And the, stri uh, the stripes of the zebra moms are uh, serves as blue dazzle or to confuse some um, biting insects because of the black and white. And we have also a unique pattern on their body. The stripes moms are it's like our fingerprint, na lain lain din, wala ka parehas. And the color of the skin of the zebra is black, covered by the white stripe. And here, beside the zebra, the one right here, the dark brown, this is Blessed Bok. Blessed Bok, mom, sir, as you can see, he has a white mark on his face that helps him to stay longer under the heat of the sun because either it will absorb or reflect the heat. And he can run up to 40 miles per hour. But they don't know how to joke, Mama. Uh, because during mating season, the male performs or dances in front of the female before mating. So it called clown because the male is a performer. And up there, you see the one with the long straight horn? That's James Bob. Or Oryx Gazelle. <laughs> they, are, they are called the king of Kalahari. Kalahari is part of Africa, which is a desert. Because those type of antelope, they can survive a long period of time without being water, even more than a month. But they are different from the camel mamsara. The camel, they have a storage of water, but then a little moist or amount of water that they take to survive with them. And next, you see the color brown, and then look like the cow. That's Elan. Elan. Elan mamsara, they are the giant antelope. They can grow up to 5 feet tall and can weigh up to 800 to 1,000 kilograms if they are fully grown. Right now, they are just a baby Ilan. Uh, one year and three months old pa lang, sir. Also known as the jumper of savanna because they can jump 3 meters in high and 12 meters in length in one loop lang. One lang skill sir to avoid their predator. 
monitor mo na ito, makita ang sir sa TV na puro sa mga chita Bayo Lion, lion, there's lion, lion king. Look up. Hi, Nancy, Sophie, and. Nice guy. 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 Nice Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice Okay, Kaya. 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 Okay, 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 yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so now we have okay. to So now, to start with, let me call on my partner to stage, Mr. Aya, together with our blue and gold macro, Amigo. So Amigo is all the way from South America. Come on, Amigo, good morning. So Amigo is a very, very responsible type of work. As you can see, we have here a sample process. Amigo wants to see his environment always clean and green. Right? Let's see how will Amigo clean up this mess. Pick up the classic club, walk all the way, off in the bean, buddy. Yes, and drop it inside. Amazing. How about our color call can Amigo? Open the bean and yes, drop it inside. Let's see what the beer can. Okay, open the bean and yes, throw it inside. See, if the brothers can do one completion from the body to the city. Now, Jumbo, we're going to show you this very long scale training. Hey, Jumbo, can you do me a favor? Why did you turn around and show them your tail, buddy? Yes, very good, Jumbo. Turn around. Yes, one more. Good job, Jumbo. And we can see most of their colors are outside their bodies and less color under its wings. So, you want to see swings? Can you see your wings? One more time. Say wings. Wings. Yes. And they are also psychic acting to start the work. That means they have two toes to point forwards and two toes to point backwards. Now, Mr. Iron prepared a special reward for Jumbo. As you can see, Mr. Funny, we are trying to practice the rewards he said. Now, Mr. Iron, are you ready to give the reward? Yes. Jumbo carefully lift up the plastic basket and get his reward. So, by using his speed, it's because his speed serves as a third finger used for climbing and holding things. Now, as I've said earlier, the Jumbo is a very, very intelligent bird. You want to know why? Why? Because Jumbo loves to go to school, to the bird school. 
Let's have an IQ test for Jumbo. For the first test, will be the spelling test. Now, I have here five animal pictures. We have a All right, I have here a horse, the zebra, the tiger, the camel, and the snake. Now, I want you guys to choose one animal picture. What do you want? The snake. How about this side? The tiger. Let's have a rotation around. Raise your hand if who's in favor with a snake. How about the tiger? And for during the weeks, they pick the tiger with Mr. Irving. So now let's have a short talk with Mr. Ryan. Mr. Ryan, can you move forward? Mr. Ryan, good morning. So, where does Jumbo originally came from? South America. And I'm here. The jumbo is BC in the study. Where did he go to school? Asama in Escuela, St. Jumbo. University of Cebu Safari. University of Cebu Safari. So, for those who have heard of Rollies, enrollment for the next year is now open. Now, Jumbo. I want you to look at the picture careful, Jumbo. This is a tiger jumbo, alright? And choose the correct letter jumbo. For the first letter jumbo, what will you pick? Yes, the letter T. Second letter jumbo. Yes, the letter I. No coaching, say you, Mr. I. And third letter jumbo. Yes, the letter G. Amazing. Let's start it with you. Fourth letter jumbo. Yes, the letter E. Imagine this is a jumbo letters. Last letter jumbo. Please do not give it to say jumbo. I know you're a very, very smart bird. And the letter R. So Tiger spells T I G E N R. Now, do you want one? Let's make it more difficult for jumbo. For the next test, we'll give you nothing, nothing about test. And for that, we're going to have the addition. Now, I want you to give me a number between 1 to 10. The higher the better. Can you give me a number? 9! 10. How about this side? 9! 9! 10 plus 9, Mr. Chris. So while Mr. Chris is busy preparing the numbers, let's have a short talk again with Mr. Ian. Mr. Ian, what is the favorite diet of Jumbo? Variety of seeds, fruits, and Varieties of fruits, seeds, and vegetables. And you said earlier that Jumbo, the school last year, the University of Cebu Safari. Of course, the teacher will call the attendance. So, Mr. Ayan, what is the last name of Jumbo? Hot dog. Hot dog. What is the last name of Jumbo? Hot dog. What's the hot dog? Jumbo. Little Jumbo, Virginia. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Chris. All set. Now, Jumbo. Right, Ten huh? plus nine, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Ten plus nine, buddy. First, I'll number Jumbo, idea. what will you pick? And Jumbo picks up the number one. So very good. How about a second number, Jumbo? And the number nine. We still do it. So 10 plus nine equals 19. So. Before Jumbo will go back to his home, Mr. Ian, I feel that Jumbo is a very, very sweet type of bird. Can you show us how sweet Jumbo is? Kiss! Yes! One more time! Say kiss! Yes! Great job! So once again, thank you! And a round of applause for Green Wing McCormick, Jumbo! Now, I need a volunteer, Mr. Ian. Ready now to volunteer, Mr. Ian? Okay, Simha. Follow the instruction of Mr. Ryan. So, Mom, are you ready? Are you ready to meet one of the largest birds in the show? Ready to carry? Okay, now everyone, please help me welcome one of the largest birds in the show, our fluffy secondary buddy. Yeah, totally large. So, secondaries are all the way from South America, but these secondaries are 
They were reading their weeks in an activity from California. They are with no From their heads, from the body, and of course, a green wings and also their tails. <laughs> so thank you both and thank you, Bonnie. No, I need another volunteer. I need another volunteer in the same day. Let's proceed to the bridge of love with Mr. Ryan. Just wear the hat, face to the crowd, and do your best pose. Hold the hat with your one hand, okay? Now, this morning, our another club is set to your name, Sunny. Hey, Sunny, good morning, buddy. He's just here as a thousand pesos of you. What do you do in the morning? Come on. Yes, fly to Miss Chesky. Pick up the money, buddy. Fly to Miss Ryan. Yes! Say bye bye, money, and bye bye, 1,000. Thank you, ma'am. Are you sure, ma'am, you want to give the money? How generous. No, we need more money, ma'am. I'm not going to money, yeah? I want an idea. Actually, ma'am, we're just kidding, so. I am. We'll just return your money. Because Sunny is a very, very cute word. So, what am I saying? So, stretch your arm, open your palm. So, one Sunny, open your arm. One Sunny will put the money in the palm. All you have to do is grab your money, not the bird. Okay? Because the bird is not grab. Alright, so now, Sunny, can you please return the money? Where is Sunny? I know you're a very, very good bird. Because in the wild, sad kids were used to pick up things. So once again, put your hands together to walk beside your name, Sonny. Thank you, Mom, we may not take your seat. So now from California, let's fly to Brazil. Because we have here our handsome ticket to get Mr. Horn. So Mr. Horn is known for having a black body and a white throat. They are also renowned for having a very colorful and a large beak. Some of you are wondering if their beaks are, or bill are heavy, but actually it's not. So their bills are extremely light, made up of protein keratin, just like our hairs and our nails. So they love to observe the surroundings and they look out to hunt for food. They love to eat insects, reptiles, small birds, fruits, and just like any other omnivorous type of bird. Now we say I am, we're gonna toast the papaya fruit, and let's see how accurate is Mr. Moore in catching food. One more time. Yes, get captured. So when they travel, they'll just block their wings and fly between branches. It's because they cannot sustain longer in the airports because they only have a very very short wing span so they will just hop and hop until you reach a certain destination hey mr Warren, want to go back okay so i want to play with the blue and go go huh so once again our heads up to get to get mr horn now it's time to meet mr horn's good friends because we have here our yellow crown, now as a pirate, our mimicking bird, Lenny and Rudy. Together on the part of the stage, Miss Janice. So, we move that to center. Okay, let's move. Bird dog? I hope no more operates in a destructive bird dog. <laughs> All right, so this is Lenny and that is Rudy. So, yellow crown, I'm a pirate, are the most common keep Amazon due to its stalking ability and playfulness. Yes, that's right. And we make us about to sound what we hear every day. Alright, so everyone, why don't you say hi to Lion and Rudy? Hi! Hello! Hello, can you see hi? Hi! Hello. Huh? <laughs> Aside from that, Miss Janice, what else can they mimic? Well, they can mimic a different sounds of the animal, just like a rooster, a cat, 
And a dog. Okay, let's start for the rooster first. Okay. Leonard Rudy. See cat rooster. Okay, cat rooster. How about the cat? Cat. <laughs> How about Bob Rudy? Can you bark? Bark. <laughs> How about telephone ringing? Yes. How about whistle? So aside from that, Lani and Rudy has also a hidden talent. They love singing, but before we sing, they need to have a warm-up first. Of course, just like any other singers do. Then Rudy? Alright. Don't mind them, okay? So in this chat tell us a dog. Let's do the warm-up Lani and Rudy. One, two, three, la 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 la. No. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> yes, now we're up to sit up. So now, are you ready for the song? Yes. So before we sing, does anyone celebrating their birthdays today? Does anyone? <laughs> Happy birthday, Pink. Happy birthday, to baby girl. Of course, Kuya and Boy. So listen, or right to baby in blue. So listen, because Danny and Rudy will sing a very, very special song. All right, let's sing Lani and Rudy. One, two, three, go. No. <laughs> All right, so singing Happy Birthday with Magic Crazy Love. That's right, again, hi. So back to the side. Lani Rudy, Happy Birthday. Alright, so now you already witnessed the extraordinary skills of our cute, colorful, beautiful flower birds. Now it's time to showcase our raptors or birds of prey. So we say birds of prey, top raptors like hawks, eagles, owls, kites, vultures, and many raptors are here. So for the first bird of prey is a nocturnal bird of prey. So nocturnal meaning they're only active on night time. So everyone keep calm, relax, and be silent because we have here the night creature of the Philippines, our Philippine eagle owl named Tatsu. So Philippine eagle owl is a typically known as Bubu Philippines. They are one of the largest owl in the Philippines. So most of the owls have a large head and a bleaching eyes where they can see 10 times better than the human's eyes. And for their hearings are active it's because they can hear a mouse squeak half a mile away and they fly very silently. And most of the owls living in a tree holes, in a tree barks. So as you can see, there's a hole in the side and let's see if this bird prey will fly back to his home. Ready? Okay. Oh, okay, so it's having a hard time. Now this time I want you to meet the queen. Hi mom, can you please sit down? Sit down like my mom. Okay. Now I want you to meet the queen brother of tattoo named Casper. And let's see how does he fly? And can you please observe Ubunsa Shamulapaj? Now Casper is having a hard time to look for his food. It's because, as I said earlier, that they are nocturnal bird of prey. But when we say nocturnal, it doesn't mean they cannot see in daytime, but they just only have poor visions in daytime. Come on, Casper. Are you sleeping? Oh, 
Oh, he's still sleepy. <clears throat> Let's try one more time. And yes. <laughs> so, uh, no worry, guys. So sometimes we cannot force the bird to perform specific tasks because just like humans, birds also have their own mood of feelings. Okay. So now for the next bird, it is that the urinal bird of prey. The urinal is the opposite of nocturnal. And for that, I need a lure handled by Mr. J. So the lure serves as the real food or the real prey. And let's see how this bird of prey is going to catch his food. Now, Mr. J, are you ready? So everyone, keep your eyes alert, because here he comes, ready to attack the lure, our Philippine Hawk Eagle Hunter! Yes, the lure. Run, Mr. J, careful, Mr. J. Run as fast as you can. Yes, catch. Oh, that's how fast he is. So as you can see, he tried to spread his wings, and make a cover with his food because he's trying to protect his fruit from any other competitors. So Philippine Hawk Eagle is scientifically known as Nesitus philippinsis and they are regionally found only in the Philippines. They are considered as one of the endangered species in our country due to hunting and trade, habitat loss, degradation, deforestation, that's why lots of wildlife lost their shelter. So once again, our Philippine Hawk Eagle named Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Now, let, from the good catcher bird of prey, let's meet the good snatcher bird of prey. And for that, I need to have a Miss Janice to be here in a second. So as you can see, Miss Janice is holding a wooden flutter and of course a piece of food. Is the next bird of prey? We're gonna show us his flying styles and snatching skills. Now, everyone, I want you to meet our prominent guy all the way from Southeast Asia, Shadow. You want Shadow? And snatch his fruit. Very good. So, prominent guy is all the way from Southeast Asia, mostly Indonesia and Malaysia. They are renowned for having a white plumage from the head down to its body and a reddish brown wings and also in their tails. So they're also called as the red back sea eagle in Australia. And here in the Philippines, I know some of you are very familiar too. It's because Brahminikai is locally known as by known in Visaya Lawi in Tagalog. So just like any raptors, just like vultures, Romani kind also love to eat the key bodies of dead animals. So they love to play around, soar and glide, to hunt for food, it's because they love to hunt for small birds, reptiles, snakes, amphibians, and just like any other raptors. I guess Shad is enjoying and yes, play. She just pull you. Come on. Very good. So once again, put your hands together to our property guy named Shadow. Now at this moment or at this juncture, I need your help or I need you to take your seat. So please be seated, ma'am. So no one will shut up. No one will gonna reach out the bird. Is the next bird of prey will get to fly closer to you. So I have there my bird trainer, Mr. Chris. Are you ready? So again, please, no one is allowed to stand. Please take your seat. This is for your own safety and also for the safety of our birds. So now, for the grand finale, I want you to meet one of the largest bird of prey to show, keep your heads up high. So our young white balance eagle, Rana. Yes, fly, fly, fly. So white balance eagle are the king of the sea. They can fly up to 3,000 feet high. And try to imagine, even if all small enough food of prey, they can clearly see it's because 
they have, aside from them, a very short and short balance, they also have a very, very sharp eyesight. Now, Mr. Chris, this is on and And come on, take off your flag, brother. <laughs> Whoa, so once again, a run of muscle, young boy, but it's ego, brother. Now, to see this moment and to make it more, more memorable, we have here our flying glories all the way from Australia. Coming up, buddies. So we have three guys of lorries, the dusty lorries, the chattering lorries, and the blue and red lorries. So last but not the least, we also have here the symbol of love, peace, prosperity, and harmony, our new boss feature. Yes, 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 so now before we talk about the show, let me call on the staff behind the success of the show. To our bird turn up there, Mr. Chris and Mr. Irving, to our cell Okay.